So, uh, um, Vladdy Mania has, has struck baseball. I was just wondering, have, have you seen? Yeah, uh, it reminds me. Of, it reminds me of Harper. It reminds me of A Rod. Have you seen that level of hype around the players? Absolutely. Uh, the last time I saw something like we've been watching over over the last week or so with Vladimir Guerrero is with the uh, Kansas City Royals. When I was with the Royals, when Bo Jackson came up, Bo Jackson was the superstar athlete, and he was the, the football player and the baseball player. Everybody wanted to find out about what this guy was all about. It was worse than what we've seen here, it, 10 times worse. I mean, everywhere he went, he had press conferences, people wanted to get a glimpse of him, and he handled it just, just great. So yes, I've seen it before. What was that like, being around both? Just being around on the team, and I'll tell you what, he's done things on the baseball field uh, that I have never seen before, and I haven't seen since. The way he hits the ball, the way he runs, the power, the things that he can do on a baseball field. Physically gifted, most talented baseball player I've ever been in around in 40 something years in professional baseball. Easily, by far. So you have, and you have kind of an insider perspective as well on, on a two sport athlete as well. What, what did you think of the whole, the whole Kyler Murray situation? Uh, I, I wish he would have played baseball from a from a from a baseball player's perspective and from a from a selfish standpoint. I'd like to get more athletes into this game, and he's a fantastic athlete. Obviously, a great baseball player, being a number one pick from Oakland, but uh, he's a heck of a football player too. But just from a baseball guy, I, I would have loved to have seen him stay in baseball. Do you think that? Um you think we ever see that again? The, the two score at the same time? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, back in the day, if you will, Brian Jordan did it. Deion Sanders played against him. I mean, this is a guy who like went and played on Sunday and then came Monday to a World Series game. Kyler Murray and Bo yep. Jackson. I mean, there were some great athletes. I'd like to see more of that. And I think that's what baseball needs. I think baseball needs more athletes. Hundred percent agreed. I I I um I know I know Russell Wilson always comes to spring training yes. too. Yes. I, I just wonder. I just hope that they figure out the money so that like they could do both at the same time and yeah, not have to quit one or the other. You know? That's going to be the stumbling point, yeah. I think, because um, baseball, you got to go down to the minor leagues and not get paid anything and really pay your dues, and it's the survival of the fittest, if you will to try and get to the major leagues. And then once you get to the major leagues, it's six more years before you you can start making like the crazy money, right? Where basketball, football, you can go to college for one or three years and then be out and start making the big money right away. If it wasn't about money, if it was about longevity and being able to play for as long as you can, baseball, there's none better. You just have to wait for the money. For sure. Um, what, what, what do you think of, um, yeah. Just where this Jays team is, um, it, it, it's. I feel um, it's it's very early, but I feel um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it may be a situation where they're retooling, but they can also be winning at the same time. I know Ross Atkins, the general manager of the Blue Jays, has said he goes, "Do you want to lose a hundred games a year?" He goes, "I don't want to lose a hundred games a year, but I know we have to like turn our roster over." Three years ago, we were the oldest team in Major League Baseball. Now we're one of the youngest teams in Major League Baseball. It had to be done. It, it had to be done to like build a foundation of a, of, a, of a Major League team that's consistent, that can last. Not just be good for two years, to sustain it and keep it going for a long time. That's what they're trying to do and try to win in one of the best and the toughest divisions in all of baseball in the American League East. So, I think they're doing it the right way by saying, okay, we're going to sell off all of our, our older players, get the contracts down, we're going to get a chance for the young players to play. You have to have good players. So that that's number one. You, it, it's been tried and true for 150 years in baseball. Teams with great farm system have great players, and they make managers look really smart. So you have to have good players, and they're starting to get good players in the farm system. Now, um, Jose Batista is a very infamous person in this city as well yes. as in legendary in Toronto. Have, are you a bit surprised that it ended so quickly after he left Toronto? No, because it happens to all of us. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you get to that certain age, uh, 35, 36, 37, whatever it is, I don't care how good you are, the skills start to fade. And it's a young man's game. It always has been. It's always been a young man's game. It happens to all of us. Sure. And eventually you reach that point, you know, say, okay, I had a nice run, I've done my thing, it's time to move on. Let's go see what else I can do in my life. For sure, for sure. 
but last one for you. Sure. Just, just on, on, on Vlad, back to Vladdy for a moment. Um, it seems like pitchers, um, I haven't seen all the games, but it seems like pitchers might be trying to pitch carefully to him, see if he'll get himself out kind of Well, thing. let me tell you, yeah. his reputation definitely precedes him. Yeah. They, they know, especially with the way the media is now, everybody knows everybody. Yeah. So they know how good this guy is. So they are really pitching him tough, like he's a 10-year veteran. And you can tell he's starting to press just a little bit. I, I applaud him for being very patient with pitches off the plate. They're throwing a lot of breaking balls away, a lot of fastballs up and out over the strike zone to pitch away from his power. And he's trying, he's trying to be patient as much as possible. He wants to, he wants to hit. He wants to do some damage. He wants to do something. He's 20 years old. There's always, and I don't care who you are, there's always a time at the major league level. It's a huge jump from AAA, a huge jump. And there's going to be that period where there's you're going to have to learn and, and, and learn what major league pitching is all about. He's there now. Just let him go. Leave him alone. He's going to figure it out. Completely agree. Okay. Thanks so much. Guys. All right, man. Appreciate it.